Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Atlas. This is a daily update video for SafeMoon. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out in the YouTube search algorithm and feel free to share this video on social media. Please keep in mind guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinions, my own research, and I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. We got just a couple of things to cover today. Overall, it's been a pretty quiet day. I wanna start off by letting you guys know I have made a Safe Moon Roblox game. If you got kids that play this game, if you play this game, I mean, I got a separate YouTube channel, I play this game, then feel free to go check it out. Uh, I would love it, by the way, that if you guys do play it or if you have played it before, because I've mentioned about this before, uh, the game itself in a previous video or videos, a couple videos now, is if you guys can, please go drop a thumbs up after you play it. And if you want to come back and check it out more, you could favorite it. As a game developer, I'm trying to grow. I've made two different Roblox games. One of them was Safe Moon themed. Another one was actually based off of uh, a manga series. I'm a manga creator as well and uh, called Revival. And uh, I'm working on my third game right now. So just it would help me out a little bit if you guys do hit that thumbs up. Maybe get a little more search discoverability. And, and thank you guys for taking the time to be able to do that, all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. So if you guys take a look at Safe Moon on the charts, it is sideways. Why is it moving sideways? Well, we shouldn't really be that surprised. The wallet's not out yet. And the whole market as a whole, no pun intended, I guess, right there, right? Or being redundant, is uh, it's moving sideways. Not much activity is going on over here. Ethereum down 0.43%. Bitcoin up 0.71%. BNB up 0.8%. We're talking about very small movements going on here. And as far as like Doge goes, uh, where did Doge go? I had Doge used to be somewhere. Oh, it's right there. It's down 2.68%. I thought it was up for some reason. Anyway, so Doge is down. Like a lot of the stuff in the market is down. It's just real quiet. I got one minute as of the time of me recording this video until we hit 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which means they were moving into a Monday daily candle as far as like how everything gets monitored and stuff. So there might be some volatility going on. I'm going to keep this on the side. By the end of this video, we're going to come back over here and take a quick look. Just see if there's any kind of major movement that's taking place. So as it is right now with Safe Moon, looking at resistance at 2,800. Above that, we got another major level of resistance that needs to get broken through at 3,100, right around at that range. Down below us, we got support here at 2700 and further level down below that is at 2600 Right now, moving through this consolidated channel. The barrier of entry to get in the top 1,000 wallets for Safe Moon is slightly down. This is now at $28 billion, 77 million. So previously, it was just slightly over the $100 million mark. Taking a look at the whale reports, this is through Safe Moon Mark's website. Uh, it's actually not updating as frequently as what I would kind of hope because there is a sale that took place about an hour and 45 minutes ago and it still hasn't updated it here. And that sale was for 90 billion Safe Moon on the 7.37 trillion account. So that would be right around this whale or so, I believe, 7.37. So it's either. Well, no, because it would have been this one, right? 90 billion. Yeah, it should be. I believe it was whale number four. Let's go ahead and double check on that real quick. Click on that. Head on over here to the BSC scan. And one hour ago, there's 90 trillion right there. Oh, wait, billion. 90 billion. My bad. Not 90 trillion, guys. 90, 90 billion. Let me just clarify, okay? So, yeah, pretty low volatility action, everything that's going on right now. Let's go ahead and go back to the list statistics taking a look at the dominance it has not changed from one day ago it is still at 18.85 percent just everything very very quiet and calm right now and that happens right before the storm as far as the top 100 cryptocurrencies goes safe moon is ranked at number 52 it has gone up on the list john who is the ceo for safe moon has unfortunately tested positive for covid so, guys, uh, I don't know if you're religious or not, you know, send them your prayers. Anybody that gets COVID, I hope that they all recover from this. It's it's obviously horrible what's been going on. So uh, that's really unfortunate. And we don't know if Jack is going to be testing positive for it soon or not, too, because they did travel together recently. But, yeah, just so you guys are aware, the CEO has tested positive for that. And then here's uh, some theories people are throwing out there about Egypt. Now, Please bear in mind, guys, 
I would take these theories, the, yeah, these, I almost said series, these theories with a very small grain of salt. I don't see a lot really going behind it, but I saw a couple different references to it, and I was like, you know what, let me go and make a video and just kind of throw it out there, and then if you guys want to elaborate more on it, or if you got other bits of research of your own, or things you've been hypothesizing on this, then let us know in the comments down below, okay? So basically, this post was um, touched up on this person that posted this here. They said, remember the update video from a few days ago? Here are the African stops from it. So I actually didn't even know about this video. Apparently, this was shared over on the Facebook uh, the Facebook official page for Safe Moon. And at one point, they had like paused on something like this. And I believe this person actually added in the names because if you look at these pictures here, where it says like coming soon and you can see the world and there's all the little dots going everywhere and then there's another one of the earth and they show all these different locations so i believe what they are trying to reiterate is if you drew an actual map where it looks like most likely that each of these spots land on are these places so if that is true which would be uh pretty cool if they figured this out but you got the gambia benin i think is how you say that i'm gonna mispronounce some of these names more than likely dr congo Lesotho, South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Egypt, and Libya. Okay, so Egypt is the one that I have for the thumbnail that I'm talking about with you guys. Just kind of elaborating on that further. This is a post from somebody else. So he said, here are two more references to Egypt that I found in some previous marketing clips. Number one, the first image is a scene of a crew getting ready to cross into a portal to bridge the gap to prosperity. If you've ever seen the movie Stargate, this image should look very familiar. It was about a team of scientists and soldiers who were able to teleport into a parallel universe to a land similar to ancient Egypt. Great movie. I've watched the TV series. I didn't ever watch a movie on it though. So number two, the second image shows crosshairs stopping at 100% complete over what is present day Egypt. With the AMA canceled today and the development team working hard behind the scenes to meet our expectations, I think we're in for some big news this week. There's a lot of hype that's going on, that's for sure. You guys let me know. I mean, as far as for having crosshairs over on the Egypt thing, and then you guys also see from that video, it looks like these dots that are potentially one of them just landing over on Egypt. Is there anything that makes Egypt seem plausible, right? Is there anything that comes to your mind that suggests that there's a connection with John or some other member of the team. Maybe they have previous connections and it's able to get them in the door a little bit easier over there. Is there a reason why Safe Moon would help replace whatever currency that they're currently using in Egypt? I don't actually know off the top of my head what currency that they use in Egypt, to be honest with you. So let me know. Something else that was kind of cool, they pointed out this over in the SafeMoon subreddit. They said if you Google BSC scan, you're going to see SafeMoon listed at the top. I got curious, so I tried it. I typed in BSC scan, and lo and behold, for me at least, it also shows that SafeMoon is listed right underneath that as the number one thing. I mean, whenever I go to BSC scan, that's what I'm looking up all the time. And so, yeah, now that's past 5 o'clock, let's just take one last quick look at everything here. It looks like Bitcoin is actually, uh, what was it a second ago? It was a little high. It was positive, I think. And Ethereum was negative. Well, it's negative now. Ethereum's negative. Doesn't mean it's going to drop even harder, but we'll have to see. Doge looks like it's a little bit down. Safe Moon hopping on over here. Looks like Safe Moon is dropping in the red. And I, not, I don't see any major whale reports going on over in the Discord side. So I think it is starting off for the Monday candle on the red it doesn't mean that it's going to be the full day of red guys we just barely got started but the volatility is pushing a little bit more towards the downward side so we'll see how this continues to play out guys i have referral links in the description if you want to earn free cryptocurrencies or free stocks take a second to look in the description and see if you're part of those or not because if you're not again it's free money for you it's an opportunity to make some extra money that's probably one of the big reasons why you're watching these videos right and if you want to check out my roblox game safe moon simulator and you go play it, please don't forget to hit the like button on it and hit favorite. It would really mean a lot to me on that. And uh, I'll have the link in the description there. Hit the like button on this video. Appreciate it, guys. And I will see you guys in the next episode.